Hi, you're watching SWS Tutorials on how to remove sky background with trees in the foreground. Uh, the goal here, of course, is to make it look as real as possible, but most importantly, not to lose any details in the trees. So let's begin. And this is the photograph I'm going to be working with where I'm going to be removing the sky background. And I'm going to be replacing it with this sky that I already have on a separate layer. Um, as you can see, I've already edited this sky photo. Um, I just duplicated it and merged it into one so it's wider, so it fills up the entire photograph. Um, so let's hide that layer. And to begin, make sure you have the photograph you're going to be moving the sky from selected. And we're going to go to channels and find the best cha the channel that has the best contrast um, so the best contrast between the trees and the sky and for this one it looks like it's going to be blue as you can see the sky is almost white completely white and then the trees are almost completely black so that will be the easiest to work with um, we're going to du duplicate the blue channel and go to image adjustments and you could use either levels or curves I prefer curves just personal personal preference and we're going to take the white eyedropper and select a part of the sky to make it completely absolute white and then take your black eyedropper and select the closest part of the edge of the trees that you can possibly get and make it black. See that is a little too much, going a little too much to the edge. You don't want it to black out the entire picture, but you want it to be just dark enough. That's good. And let's zoom back out. And now I'm going to take the paintbrush and set it to overlay. And make sure you have black and white selected as your background and foreground colors. And first we're going to take white. Make sure it's on overlay and the opacity is at 100%. Also make sure your brush is on a solid brush with a hardness of 100%. Not one of these soft brushes and we're just going to paint over the white section of the sky like so and now we're going to take our black and go over that and remember not to lift your mouse button while doing this because otherwise you'll pack on layers of the black when you want it to be one smooth layer of black we're going to paint over all the area that we want to keep and actually for the grass port part since there's so much and it'll take a long time and going over it and over it again to make this completely black uh, what you can do is just take a quick selection of this area and do control backspace or alt backspace sorry control D. and you have a completely black area so we're going to be removing the white area only and the black area we're keeping and then we're going to go back to our channels section and select RGB so it's all back to normal. Go to layers and then select load selection and blue copy. That was a channel we just made a duplicate of. Select that. And then since we're keeping our black foreground and removing our white background, you're going to want to invert the selection. Voila. And then you just go to layer 
mask. You could turn this new sky on. And there you have it. And to make it more realistic, I'm going to put a photo filter to make it match the sky more. And bring the density up to about there. And there you have it.